A new TSA pre-check enrollment center was installed here yesterday at Hancock Airport, though it is not fully functional just yet. Though the booth is ready to go, the employees are not. New people will be flown into Syracuse, and then they must go through training and an FBI screening process in order to be qualified to enroll passengers in the pre-check program. Because this isn't something that people just sign up for. They take your photo ID and they take your fingerprints and then they have to put it through their system. They essentially do a background check to make sure that you're a low risk traveler. So it does take a couple of weeks after you visit the location for, you to, for it to go through. And then you're given um, a number. So when you do book your flight, you enter that number and it identifies you as being part of the pre-check system. There are safety concerns with the pre-check program, which is why the enrollment process is as intensive as it is. But pre-check can be beneficial for travelers, especially frequent flyers. People who enroll in the pre-check system gain certain perks. They get to go through a faster, less crowded line, and they also don't have to take off their shoes, belt, or jacket when they go through security. Pre-check has been available at Hancock Airport for over two years now, but the enrollment process was a hassle for a lot of Central New Yorkers. Well, previously, before this was installed here, the closest location that you could visit, because you do have to visit a physical location, was all the way in Oswego. And so this Syracuse Airport is the airport for our area, and for people to have to drive 40 miles to visit somewhere it wasn't a huge incentive. So having it at the airport that people are using is just a much more convenient location. Malinowski says that a number of people have already come in eager to sign up for PreCheck and she thinks that many people will enroll once the booth is open. While the pre-check program is still useful at Hancock Airport, it saves people more time at bigger airports where there are longer lines. Reporting live from Hancock Airport in Syracuse, Bryce Kerr, NCC News.